Okay, now here is the working part with the laser to the leak chip. So right now my laser is on, modulated at 100 hertz with the on and off signal. You can't tell, but it is turning the laser on and off. So the scope is measuring the voltage after the trans impedance circuit coming out of the leak chip. So it should be, the voltage should be proportional to the photocurrent. So now I'm going to shine my on and off laser light onto the chip. And you can see the photocurrent is being modulated. All right, now I'm gonna turn on the second probe, which is the demodulated signal after the low pass filter. Okay, as we uh, shine the laser light on, right onto the chip, you can see the offset of the number two probe goes up and laser away. Now it's a negative voltage. See that? And then the signal after a low pass filter is proportional to the peak to peak um, value of the modulated signal. So now I'm going to shine the lamp light onto the chip right now. And then you can see the TIA signal is offset at a higher level but the the channel 2 which is the signal demodulated signal after the low pass filter has not changed at all so good let me see what spring is like on Jupiter okay this video is going to show you how fast we're going to we can drive the lock-in frequency of leak measurement. So my laser is fixed on top of the chip with a heat of putty, very, very high tech. And then now we're driving the laser at 100 hertz, and then the top frequency or top uh, waveform you see is a uh, square waveform which is the photo voltage coming right out after right out of the TIA circuit and then the bottom is a offset at DC signal with right now it's measuring 250 millivolts that is the signal coming out of the low pass filter after the demodulation so now we're going to adjust the frequency of the laser higher with 100 hertz increment and then let's see 200 hertz 300 hertz 400 hertz 500 hertz so as you can see the frequency goes up and the uh, top waveform gets a little distorted like right here and so that changes this, um, the DC signal coming out of the low pass filter. And then let's go up further. 1K. Seems fine. Now we're going to increment in 1 kilohertz increment. This is 2K. You can see the low pass filter signal drop to 150 and then the distortion now is very obvious so this is 2k Let's see if we can go further so 3k it's now 130 millivolts of at the low pass filter frequency 
Okay, now we're at 4k and then the low pass photo signal actually dropped very significantly. So, now let's go back. See? 2k, 1k, 1k is about as far as we want to go. 900. Yeah, one, once you pass, 1k goes below. You don't change the DC too much within 5%. Shall we go out skipping careful I mean